A centuries before the birth of Christ, the citizens of the Greek city-states and those of Persia were uneasy neighbors. And by the end of the 6th century BC, many of the Greek trading settlements in Asia Minor had fallen under Persian dominion. Two Persian military expeditions were beaten back by only the narrowest of margins at Marathon, at sea near Salamis, and at Plataea the following year. With the unifying threat posed by the Persians thus weakened, the victorious coalition of Greek cities dissolved into vicious infighting. Meanwhile, Philip II of Macedonia was building a powerful modern army with more heavily armoured phalanx and heavy cavalry for mobility. By 338 BC, Philip had conquered the whole of northern Greece, and the remaining Greek forces moved to counter this new threat at the Battle of Chironia. It is 338 BC, and relations between the cities of Greece and the Kingdom of Macedon have broken down. Philip, King of Macedon, is on the move south, a means to bring the cities of Athens and Thebes to heel. Assembled against him on the plains of Chironia are the combined forces of the Athenian and Theban armies. Among their numbers are the dreaded Theban sacred band, an elite corps of 300 spearmen. Philip knows that their very presence on the battlefield will strike terror into the hearts of his men. But Philip has a secret weapon of his own. He is joined on his march by his son Alexander, commanding the elite Macedonian cavalry. Alexander is young in age, but exceptional in personal courage and ability. The cavalry under his command will be key today in finding victory. Philip knows that the Thebans will have to be neutralized and quickly if his men are to find the necessary resolve to hold back the Greek phalanx. The plan is for Philip to engage the main Greek line with the Macedonian phalanx. At the same time, Alexander will lead his cavalry against the three sacred band units by the river. Should Alexander fail to neutralize the Thebans or wander from his objective, the Macedonian army will likely be overcome. Alexander must find a way to defeat the sacred band with his cavalry if his father and country are to taste victory today.
Our men take heart from your success against the sacred band. But there are two more units left on the field, and they must be destroyed before they can be brought to bear against your army. has been watched with delight by our Macedonian comrades. The famous invincible vanguard of the Theban army has been annihilated in a day. But that day is not over. There are still enemies on the field, so go to the aid of your countrymen. makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Pursue them! Drive them from the battlefield! God be praised! This victory is surely their work, not that of mortals like us! <laughs> <laughs> 